Hello everyone, glad you could join us today. Ever since the One Division finale came out a few weeks ago, there's been a lot of controversies floating around about some of the choices that the showrunners made regarding the finale. One in particular that I wanted to address today was the idea of did Wanda get off too easily at the end based on what she had put the town of Westview through over the course of the series. There are some who would say that Wanda was just forgiven too easily by the characters in the show and should have faced more consequences for her actions. So let's take a look at some images from the episode and some excerpts from the script to see if we can get a closer insight on that. So first of all, some events that happen towards the middle of the episode when Wanda is facing off against her opponent, Agatha Harkness, and Agatha begins to free some of the residents of Westview from the mind control that Wanda has been exercising over them. And when this happens, the town people's response is to begin to surround Wanda, confronting her about what she's done to them and begging her to let them go, and in many cases in a very threatening manner. And Wanda clearly felt a threat to herself because her instinctive reaction is to reach out with her powers and to choke them all to the point where they all fell to the ground. That shortly after this point, Wanda does relinquish them and begins the battle with Agatha. But this is clearly something that the townspeople would have in their minds as events unfolded later in the episode. So to look for our next point, let's go on to some excerpts from the script for the conversation between Monica Rambeau and Wanda after the climax of the episode. So Wanda is walking through the middle of town. She comes up to Monica and Monica says, They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. Referring to how Wanda completely took down her enchantments over the town and lost the recreation of vision that she had and also her children. To this, Wanda responds, it wouldn't change how they see me. And you, you don't, you don't hate me? Which is an understandable response. Since Monica, just like the people who lived in that town of Westview, had been subjected to Wanda's mind control and knows what it was like. There's many things that Monica could have chosen to respond to in this situation, but the answer she chooses to give is, given the chance and given your power, I'd bring my mom back. I know I would. This goes back to something that happened earlier in the series where we learned that Monica had been snapped away and while she was gone that her mother had died. So Monica has at least some understanding of the grief that Wanda had to deal with. Now, she's not saying that what Wanda did in holding the town hostage was justifiable, but she is showing sympathy with her over bringing back a loved one that was obviously very close to her. And also, we can see that Wanda is showing remorse for all the pain that she caused when she apologizes. And Monica agrees that she can tell that Wanda is feeling sorry for what she did. Now, you could make the case if Wanda was truly sorry, she would have turned herself into the authorities and faced the consequences. And I agree that that would be the most moral choice for Wanda to have made. However, even though Wanda has dealt with her grief from the loss of vision to a certain extent, she is obviously still a character with flaws, and this is going to lead to issues down the road, I'm sure, especially in the next Doctor Strange movie. So finally, Wanda says that she doesn't understand this power, but she will, and she bids Monica goodbye, which ways Monica wishes her good luck. Now, we've addressed the issue of did, should Wanda have turned herself in? The next question is, should the people of Westview, or Monica Rambeau, or the various authorities that were there, done something to stop Wanda from leaving after she'd released the town from her control? It's possible that somebody could have tried to stop her, but based on Wanda's level of power, unless she wanted to be captured and held prisoner, there's no way that it would have happened. And in fact, trying to attack her, or in some way try to restrict her from leaving, would have only resulted in more destruction and possible death. So, that's, so in my opinion, anyone trying to stop her would have known that this was a waste of time especially the people of Westview, after how she reacted to being confronted by them earlier in the episode. 
So they may think that she deserves to go to jail or worse for what she did, but in their point of view, I would definitely not want to confront her after what had happened earlier. What's interesting about shows like this is that even long after the shows or the movies are over, like nerds like us can get together and debate the finer points of what we liked or what we didn't like or where we thought the show should have gone or not gone. But I don't know about you, I'm looking forward to see what these characters do in the future and for the next project in the MCU. So I thank you all for joining me and I hope you all have a blessed day.